my name is Hanna. I am now 28 years old woman from Finland. I have grown up in a farm where I had three little brothers. I studied in that small town until I joined to university in the bigger city. In that university, I studied biomedical engineering and I graduated there as a master of science. And after that, I pursued to do PhD in the field of medical physics. I chose to study in STEM field because I have always loved natural sciences. It has always been very easy for me to understand mathematics since there I don't have to remember things. I can just understand the basic concept and then I can use that knowledge to solve problems. Other interest of mine is a uh, human body. So in the biology, I always found it very fascinating how the human body works. So I wanted to combine these two fields and I have found that engineering can do also natural sciences, but then you can specialize to some field where you can use that other interest of mine. My parents and my whole family haven't been very highly educated. I haven't found that any problem for myself. My parents have been always very supportive for my studies and they have always tried to push me to go further since I have always loved studying. And I haven't found this problematic during my studies since I always found the support from my friends. Very early on, my parents were not able to solve my mathematic problems anymore. So I learned that I have to be independent or find who I can find the support inspires me in this STEM field is that I can always learn more. There is so much things what I still don't know and I have always been fascinated to learn about the world around me and how it works. And in physics I found it very interesting while I understand something, why there is something small happening in the world and I, I can understand why it is happening. Doing PhD at the moment in University of Oulu. I'm studying medical physics in the group of Research Unit of Medical Imaging, Physics and Technology. And in that group, my topic is to find smart 3D nanomaterials and how they could be used to treat cartilage defects in the knee joints. I'm studying medical physics. I'm still doing something related to human. So I'm trying to find new materials which could replace the damaged cartilage and then heal human bodies. Before university studies, I was working in the bakery since baking is my loved hobby. After I entered the university, I had an uh, opportunity during my master studies to work as a research assistant. In my work, I have a specific problem. I know that my studies are going to somehow help humans and patients in future. So I know that the work what I'm doing is very important. What I like in my job is the challenges and problem solving. And those two skills are coming from the engineering studies where we learn to solve all kinds of problems. I'm doing PhD, so I will be highly specified to do research in the future. So for me, there is quite many different companies where I can continue my studies and do research in there. Uh, I haven't yet decided what I want to do after my BSD studies since there are so many options. I can also continue in the academic career, but then it might go a little bit further from the actual handwork. I want to work in laboratory. I want to do something with my hands. So that's why I might pursue for the private companies. And even though you haven't done PhD, the opportunities for engineers are very broad. Most of my friends who graduated at the same time, they are working in different kinds of companies, in IT, drug related companies or some other ones. There is so many different kind of 
opportunities for us since we are learning those kind of basic skills, problem solving, natural sciences. The opportunities for us are much higher since we understand better this kind of engineering mind. Very important to have girls in STEM fields because they are so mainly at the moment. So if the guys are doing the research, for example, for medicine, and we are not having any influence for that, we are not having our voices heard. Most of the medicine studies are at the moment done for the male animals. And that's why the drugs are not working for us or we have different kind of side effects because women has different kind of bodies and they are more problematic to study. So that's why people normally use simple model guys. So it's very important that we have our voice heard also in this kind of fields and everywhere else. So follow your passion. Do what inspires you. Don't do what everyone else is doing if you want to do mathematics. Do what you want.